20 minutes past eight here on Morning Live and uh, continuing to get comments, views and the latest when it comes to the uh, passing of mum, Winnie Madikizela Mandela. We'll be joined now by the ANC spokesperson, Pule Mabe. Uh, Pule, again, thank you very much for coming in and joining us this morning. Um, one, one thing about mum, Winnie Mandela, is she had said that the one happy marriage she ever had was to the ANC. Of everything that she'd been through in life, that was the happiest time of her life, being a part of the ANC. And that must mean a lot for the party. Uh, well, uh, Diane, let me greet your viewers. Well, it is. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Mama Winnie Madigizela Mandela has been a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC since 1991. She served uh, in that structure for a good 26 years. She has also been a president of the ANC Women's League. Uh, she has displayed maximum courage and discipline, uh, befitting of a cadre of her own organization. So she had a very outstanding character that uh, many of us can learn from. She never sold out on the principles she believed in. She was a true mother of the nation, uh, someone who spoke truth to power without fear or favor. And uh, most importantly, she still lived with her people in Orlando, in Soweto, up till this day. I mean, when all of us are going to convey our condolences, we are doing it in Soweto. And uh, this uh, signifies the kind of a person that she was always found amongst her people. Mm -hmm. You know, there was times when one felt that the ANC did not offer as much respect to Mamouni as they should have. Um, there were times that she was, she was swept aside in favor of others and, and that she was not given the, the respect that she deserved, um, that as being a very powerful woman, as being a force to be reckoned with within the party, and yet she wasn't given the respect that she so deserved. What is the, what is the response from the party towards these, these kind of, um, I suppose, uh, chapters in our history and in the, in the party's history? Well, I can assure you, Leanne, that uh, we saw in Winnie a mother. I mean, uh, just uh, uh, last year, we, I, I personally had an opportunity to celebrate uh, Mother's Day with her and uh, my children as well, you know, so... And I'm sure that I speak for many others. I mean, we saw her. Those of us who come from the Congress of South African Students uh, saw in her a mother, you know, so a, a lifetime president, somebody that would go to if we have got uh, challenges. Uh, she never really took sides. So I would say that uh, even her own house became a pilgrimage site mm. for cadres of the movement. So they they... There, there, there might have been various epochs in our history uh, of learning about uh, the life of uh, Mama Winnie Madigizela Mandela and what it represented uh, in various phases of our revolution. But what is important is that what is it that we have learned, we the young ones? What did the life of uh, Mama Winnie represent? It represents a great sense of courage and of loyalty. Mama Winnie did not really worry about uh, what your issues were with her she would be able to still raise her own issues and views without fear or favor. And that is uh, what we must all celebrate. We must celebrate courage, dedication, and commitment to service, yeah. which uh, was uh, really what came to characterize her life. Yeah, and certainly someone that wasn't afraid to speak out. Yes, um, Mamouni, yes. if she felt that she was not happy with what was going on in the party, she certainly vocalized it and brought the leaders to, to book and spoke out against them. Oh, she did that all the time. I mean, when, 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 the, when the president went to pick her up uh, together with the acting chair of the province and the leadership contingent of the ANC, uh, you know, she, she was making funny jokes you know, uh, almost saying, but you can't visit here and not uh, check on us here, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so because it is, you know, you know in, 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 in our own uh, African culture, we've got a saying that says, uh, uh, what that means is that when you are visiting us, 
it must be those who stay there who effectively give you that welcome. Mm -hmm. So she felt that uh, she was a full embrace of the people of Soweto. And that when you visited Soweto, you'd need to touch base with her. Yeah, you certainly yes. would. And, yes. and, and she was, I, I had said it a bit earlier, almost uh, somewhat of royalty in Soweto. Yes, yes, yes. It's quite difficult at times where we look back at some of the leaders of the ANC and we look back uh, now with memory, um, this being the latest leader of the ANC that has passed, Winnie Madikizela Mandela, Adelaide Tambo, Albertina Sisulu, uh, Kada Asma, Miriam Makeba, Hugh Masekela, uh, Ahmed Kitrada, Nelson Mandela, the list goes on and on and on of leaders that have gone, leaders that have been respected and revered through all of these years. What, what does it mean for the party? Because it is, it is difficult to say goodbye to these, to these members that are the glue in society. What is the party doing to hold itself together, to not necessarily rely on the past, but to look to the future now? Well, you will know that at the beginning of the year, uh, the ANC declared this the year of uh, unity, renewal, and jobs. Yeah. Now, part of what you will have to do to drive that renewal forward is to effectively uh, look at the program that uh, our own national leadership has begun rolling out, which was the revolutionary pilgrimage. You will know that as part of that program, what they did was to visit Mama Winnie's house. They visited various other churches. Uh, they visited uh, King Godwill Zolitini in uh, KwaZulu Natal. They visited other chiefs in the Eastern Cape. That program is continuing. They'll be visiting <coughs> other religious denominations because the ANC is beginning uh, on a path to reconnect uh, with the past, but uh, use that reconnection, especially of those that might have walked the same path with Mama Winnie, with Tata Nelson Mandela, with uh, Walter Sisulu, with Lillian Ngoi, with Ruth First, with Ruth Mumpati, and many others, and say, what is it that we can use from the life of these ones to inspire confidence in our own people and make them realize that an important project as national liberation requires a concerted effort from amongst all of us so that it could be able to be carried forward yeah. without haste. Just finally, let's, uh, let's talk logistics because I know that obviously there's been um, a, an official funeral that has, has been declared for yes. Mamuni, but obviously there are levels as well as to a state funeral. This will be discussed with the family, the venue. Yes. Is it going to all be um, released and revealed to us at around about 10 o'clock after meeting with the family? Yes, well, of course, uh, yesterday when we were at the family, uh, the president did announce some of the actions, immediate actions that are going to be undertaken, including the program. One, the, the funeral is going to be held on the 14th of uh, April. The official memorial is set for the 11th of April. The African National Congress, under the command of the Secretary General, is meeting this morning at 11 o'clock together with the province of Gauteng, the region of Johannesburg, and the Tripartite Alliance, uh, to begin to uh, design a political program. You will know that for the rest of her life, Mama Winnie has been a member of the African National Congress. So the ANC will be taking full charge of various activities that will be happening throughout the country. We'll be having activities throughout all our regions. We'll be outlining uh, the sort of... Uh, memorial programs that will also be taking place including even on your social media platforms because uh, many of you Lien, are found there today we also need to make sure that uh, you also have got links through which you could be able to post and deposit your messages of condolences to the family uh, we'll also be outlining when the when the memory book will be available for signing at Lituli house and numerous other activities uh, that will be uh, out, of course, the Women's League will also be having its own programs. She was the, uh, the president of the Women's Indeed. League. Uh, the ANC Youth League will be having its own programs. She was the honorary president of uh, COSAS. COSAS will also be having its own programs as well. You know, Mama Winnie left uh, the Congress of South African Students. It was closer to her heart. And I'm sure that uh, other formations uh, uh, like the Tripartite Alliance will be having that. So what we'll be doing is that at each and every step of the way, will be able to make sure that we convey and communicate the program. We're working closely with the family. Uh, comrade Zondo Mandela 
uh, has been appointed family spokesperson. We are holding hands with him to make sure that we communicate one singular message. Uh, the family has already expressed its own desires, which we will be able to convey at the right time. Well, thank you very much for updating us no, on, uh, on the uh, necessary arrangements and uh, we should be hearing through the course of this morning exactly what the events for the official funeral.